What's up, family? Some spooky news has come out this week regarding our Social Security recipients, and it looks like millions of people are getting kicked off the Social Security program. Check out this article right here that says recipients are losing their benefits after receiving some of those COVID stimulus checks over or through the pandemic. We've got to uncover this story today as this is getting out of hand. Also, we have other startling news regarding recipients getting shortchanged on their monthly benefits. We have information about some are receiving letters in the mail that are explaining the issue with their benefits and the people are not happy about it. They are furious, guys. But anyways, I have the details to share with you in just a moment. But before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, guys, let's go ahead and talk about how some individuals or Social Security recipients are losing their benefits. As you can see right here, it says that people are losing Social Security benefits after getting some COVID stimulus checks. And now there is an investigation. Uh, this information is coming out of Atlanta, Georgia, in which it says that in a new development into Channel 2 Action News investigation into overpayments by the Social Security Administration office saying that, look, we have now learned that some families are now losing their benefits because of money the government provided to them as a stimulus check. Uh, yes, guys, it says that uh, Justin Gray of Channel News has learned that the problem is tied to pandemic stimulus checks that people got from the federal government in 2020 and 2021. Social Security's own rules say that those checks should not be counted against you for benefit eligibility. But now we're hearing from people who say that they actually lost their Social Security because of those stimulus checks or those stimulus payments. Right here it says that David Green's daughter, Julia's, only income is her monthly social security disability check and Julia is blind and she has cerebral palsy. And anyways, her mother ended up saying that, look, I just assumed that the government put the money in her pocket. They would understand that she's going to have extra money according to her. But during the COVID-19 pandemic, $3,200 in stimulus checks called economic impact payments were deposited into her bank account. And now the Social Security Administration office has frozen her monthly payments and is demanding thousands of dollars be returned back to the administration. And the only reason that her assets were too much was because of the stimulus payments that she got or she received during COVID, according to her mother. Uh, but anyways, guys, Channel 2 Action News is doing a joint investigation into this particular issue. And they first exposed this issue last month, how hundreds of thousands of families are being hit with overpayment demand letters from Social Security, even when it's the government who actually made the mistake in sending out these additional payments to these individuals. And since the report from Channel 2 News, uh, the Social Security Administration office announced earlier this month that it will review its overpayment policies and then figure out what they need to do in the meantime. But the policy for COVID stimulus checks is very clear. There is no discussion about it. Social Security's own rules and guidance say that uh, economic impact payments received under the CARES Act do not count as income. Income. So why do they need to investigate this particular issue in regards to the overpayments of money for these individuals, which is pretty much affecting thousands of individuals out there in which is leading to some individuals are actually losing their Social Security benefits. So uh, anyways, guys, they are saying that, look, I think as a policymaker, the principle of not punishing people for receiving this particular assistance really makes sense. But figuring out how to make that work is a difficult and maybe even impossible problem to actually solve in the short term. There were quite literally hundreds of millions of opportunities for people to have been caught up in this kind of era, according to Darcy Milburn, which is the nonprofit working on behalf of the people with intellectual disabilities. So uh, anyways, guys, this is a huge letter, guys, and a lot of people, if not thousands of individuals, are receiving these very spooky letters or scary letters in their mailbox when they're pretty much getting caught off guard. What should they do, guys? Is this actually affecting you or someone you know? If so, guys, comment down below and let us know, guys. We would love to get your perspective in regards to these 
crazy letters that are coming in the mail. I mean, come on now. If the CARES Act says that this will not impact those individuals that receive Social Security, then why are we having this issue? But apparently, guys, some individuals are really having a tough time right now. And in addition to that, guys, we are also getting information right here that says letters are going out, guys, to Social Security recipients. And some individuals are getting short change. Uh, yes, guys, Social Security recipients will receive, we all know this, we've talked about this a lot last week, but uh, they will receive 3.2% a cost of living adjustment increase, or better known as a COLA increase in benefits in 2024. This was determined by the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. What they neglect to factor into the equation is that uh, food costs, fuel costs, as well as housing and other services like that, as these three continue to fluctuate. Too much to have an accurate measurement for our Social Security recipients. And if they were properly factored in, you know, using the appropriate calculation, our benefits, Social Security benefits would increase by around 20%. Uh, yes, guys, what do you think about that? Wouldn't that be something, a 20% increase for our Social Security recipients? I mean, that would almost fix the major issue in this country. And it would also prevent or remove a lot of Social Security recipients from being in poverty. That would very much be uh, very exciting, if you will, guys. But anyways, guys, what do you think about that 20% increase or COLA increase? That would be amazing. I, I wish I could do something about it, guys. But unfortunately, I can't. So uh, anyways, guys, last but not least, we also want to just rehash on this issue. We've talked about previously that uh, some Social Security recipients have actually been overpaid by the administration office. Yes, guys, apparently a lot of Social Security recipients have been receiving letters in the mail that is telling them that uh, the Social Security Administration office has been overpaying them on their monthly benefits for more than three to five years. And uh, it was an accident. It was a honest mistake. However, they are asking members or Social Security recipients to pay all of that money back to the Social Security Administration office. Uh, guys, do you think this is fair? Uh, this is actually picking up a lot of traction right now, guys. And this is actually headed to Congress for them to be able to figure out what exactly went on and what they're going to do about it. As you can see right here, guys, it says that Social Security's $20 billion overpayment problem is now headed to Congress. But the biggest question is, who will actually pay for this costly management issue. So anyways, guys, like I said, recently many Americans have been receiving these letters in the mail from the Social Security Administration office demanding repayment for billions of dollars that was wrongfully paid to them in the form of monthly benefits. And now ABC News went on to explain that several members of Congress are calling on the Social Security Administration office to answer for issuing billions of dollars of payments it says beneficiaries wasn't even entitled to actually receive and then demanding for them to repay that money back as if our recipients are still holding on to all of that money. We already know that answer, guys. They are trying to stay afloat, keep food on the table, continue to keep their lights on. So how in the mess can they pay this money back? We are talking about three to five years of monthly payments. There is just no way, guys. And now Congress is putting their foot forward and trying to figure out what the real issue is. It says that the general sense from the members of Congress is uh, we do have a problem on our hands. We've got to address this. We've got to fix this issue, according to Representative Mike Carey, which is the number two Republican on a House panel that oversees Social Security. He has called for a congressional hearing on this particular subject. And to add in, Senator Rick Scott, which is a member of the Committee on Aging, questioned how the volume of overpayments was allowed to grow to a figure as large as $20 billion. Is somebody going to be held accountable at the federal level for, you know, uh, messing this up? Additionally, uh, Senator Sherrod Brown, who chairs a Senate panel that oversees Social Security, noted that the government has got to fix this issue. So anyways, guys, yes, we have a ton of letters going out right now to our recipients from various different types of reasons. And 
uh, it is pretty much scaring the living daylights out of them guys so uh, I just want to go ahead and let you know before you actually receive your letter to just uh, calm down a little bit and just wait guys hopefully the government as well as our Congress as they continue to be lazy but hopefully they are able to figure this thing out and figure out some way to provide 20 billion dollars to cover this huge costly mistake that has been done in part of the administration office this is not the recipient's problem this is an issue directly tied to social security administration office and somebody has to be accountable for this but uh, will they actually figure out that answer and how long will it take and in the meantime some of these individuals are having their bank accounts frozen will they go ahead and decide to unfreeze those accounts so they can continue to live their lives or is this going to cause havoc until congress can figure this thing out guys i am with you i feel sorry for this issue guys but i just want to bring the news to you and i hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today well anyways guys that's all we have for you today but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description there are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money such as signing up with webull where they are giving away 12 free stocks after you deposit one dollar and those could be worth around three thousand dollars also don't forget about signing up for the amazon Prime membership. Right now you can get 30 days for free, which is a great time as we are almost to the Black Friday time frame as well as Christmas shopping. So anyways, guys, in addition to that, uh, be sure to go ahead and check out my latest YouTube channel that I just launched a few weeks ago. I would love to get your support and your subscription uh, to the new channel as well as if you get an opportunity, go ahead and like a few of my latest videos. But anyways, if you are interested, check out the links down below. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content, and you want to see more please go ahead subscribe to the channel it's totally free and if you like today's video then go ahead and hit the like button for us it really helps out this channel as well as it tells youtube to share this video with others but anyways hey i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and i hope to see you on the next video peace